this is a Mazda 3 2016 and as you can see at the front you will once you prop up the uh, hood there is the brake fluid reservoir and if I open it you will see there is a plastic filter inside it and I had no clue how to mm, pull it out I've tried a lot of stuff yesterday but uh, I couldn't get it out now this is what I'm going to use this is a very cheap uh, brake fluid tester I got it off of eBay and this is very accurate actually and you don't need anything more than more expensive than this it is like eight bucks if I remember correctly uh, it's a VX scan uh, I'm not sponsored by them but I'm going to use that for my brake fluid testing and uh, to take it out take out the filter I'm going to use these uh, tweezers uh, I have them for my aquarium so I'll try to use these tweezers to pull it out let's see if we can be successful A lot of fighting but finally it's out now you can see we have access to the fluid and now the reason we need the access to the fluid is we will need to submerge the prong inside the fluid so this is the this is the prongs that I'm talking about and they need to be submerged significantly inside the um, brake fluid to be able to take it properly so it's pretty straightforward there are z this is zero this is less than one percent this is two percent three percent and greater than four now three and four is when you need to change the brake fluid one, less than 1% and 2% is acceptable so we will we are going to submerge it and so as you can see it's showing that it's still good and you can check it as many times as you want we are still good Always make sure you wipe it clean before you put it back. Now once you have tested your brake fluids, it's advisable you put back the filter. These filters are installed in your vehicle to have it uh, have your uh, brake fluids not be contaminated by uh, dust. So um, humidity and dust are not good for brake. So we are done checking the brake fluid. As you can see, this is a very simple process. Um, you don't need to spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars um, before testing your brake fluid. It is a very simple process. The, um, if you have struggle, you will have struggle the most with the filter than getting the item. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this video is helpful to you and uh, see you on my next uh, repair um, video so give me a thumbs up if you like the video thank you thanks for watching